เรียกว่าอะไร Do you see any other pattern? You are. All right. Now look for your vowel pattern. So vowel. Now find the consonants between it. Consonant, consonant, vowel. Consonant, consonant, vowel. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Consonant, consonant, vowel. Same pattern. How will we divide between your two consonants? It's going to sound like a K. So give it a K back. All right, we have the er sound here. All right, we have a vowel followed by L. So it usually has the ah uh, sound. We're going to try it. If not, we'll try the schwa sound. See which one makes sense. All right, let's try it. What is it? Ness. All right. What else? What else do you see, guys? O U S. That means full of. There are two in there. had to drop the final E to add that suffix. That's why it looks funny. All right, now, is there any obvious coding we can do? Go back on the C. Now, let's find your vowels. O. I and U. We have an N and a T. And then we have an N. So vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. This pattern's a little different. All right, so for the first part, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, where will we divide? Between the two consonants. Vowel, consonant, vowel, where do we divide? All right, you could divide after this. Let's divide here. 
I think it's going to give us a better sound to it. The eye is going to be short either way. All right, vowel followed by consonant is short. Vowel followed by consonant is short. All right, that U by itself, long U. Let's send it out. syllable or a suffix. Alright, we have suffix L-Y. Alright, any coding that we can do before we look at the vowels? Combination W-H says Now let's look at our vowels. I So let's sound it out both ways and figure out how to code it. Vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. 
So it's backwards this time. We have BCV first. All right, so I divide after my vowel. And then here I divide between my two consonants. So vowel followed by consonant would normally be short, but here it's open, it's going to be long. We have the er sound here. The a is open and accented. Now let's sound it out. Hi, b er, hi bur, nay, hi bur, nay, shun, hibernation. What word? Hibernation. That's what some animals do during the winter. Hibernation. All right. On the back side, you have a set of big words, too. You are going to try to sound those five words out. Code them if you can. If you cannot, if you can sound them out and read them to someone, that's just as good, okay? What's most important is that you can decode those words and read them to someone. So make sure that you can read those to someone at home, okay? That's the most important thing is decoding, even if you can't code them. So you can try to code them, but most important thing is that you are able to decode them and sound them out and come, out, come up with the word. All right, so practice those. Also today you will have a lesson on the moth and the butterfly. It's going to work on words that are multisyllabic, more than one syllable. You'll practice this book all week. Don't forget to practice those spelling words every day as well. Do your best.